it just bursted my bubble. Not only did Zach Wilson's play just disgracefully turned me more against him. I don't want to hear that the Jets are four and three because last year at one point the Jets were four and three. The Jets were seven and three, and they fell completely apart in the second half of the season. Now we're going into the second half of the season, and the only reason why the Jets pulled off that win against the New York Giants is because the Giants are a terrible team right now. They lose Tyrod Taylor in the second quarter. And Darren Waller. And Darren Waller to a hamstring problem, which Darren Waller shouldn't have played in this game. That has a lot to do with coaching. And Dable has no excuses on the way this team is trending because this team is trending all the way to the ground. All offseason, everybody was talking about how good the Giants played last year. What could they be this year? This schedule was 10 times harder than it was last year. I don't care if it was raining. There is no excuses to Zach Wilson's play. Zach Wilson played for BYU. That's Utah. It snows a lot over there in Utah. It's cold. It rains. High altitude. There's no excuses for Zach Wilson's play because it was raining and it was cold. There is no reason why any of the Zach Wilson following can make excuses for the way he played. 17 for 36, 240 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. How many times did he fumble the ball? And I don't want to hear about he had three centers during the game. That's not an excuse. You're the quarterback. When you're hiking the ball, when you're calling the plays, you're telling the center when he should be giving you the ball. That's your fault, not the center's fault. And you take responsibility for that just as much as Aaron Rodgers would take responsibility no matter who is behind center. His problem is, and the Jets' problem is there were two for 15 on third down. The Jets are historic right now. Even as a 500 team, to be one of the worst third down teams in NFL history. How many times did we see third and four? Third and five. Third and two. Like Third and two. Stopped, stopped him a lot. How many times during the games did we see that and he couldn't complete a pass? He couldn't complete a run. He couldn't complete anything. And that has a lot to do with coaching. Robert Sala said, we have so much faith in Zach Wilson at the end of the game. Give me a break. When Gano was up there ready to kick that ball, you knew that you were going to lose. There was no way Zach Wilson was going to take the ball down and score a touchdown. The only way you had a chance to win is if Gano misses another field goal back-to-back times. And then Everybody calls him Mr. 24 Seconds when he took the ball all the way down in 24 seconds so they could kick the ball. I don't want to give Zach Wilson any of the credit there. That had everything to do with Greg the Leg. He was cold, and he went in in the fourth quarter and kicked the main kick that helped them get into the overtime and then kicked the game-winning field goal. He should get the credit on that game. Not Zach Wilson. And Morstead, too. It was amazing. How about the defense? But That's not saying much because the Giants have nobody to throw to after losing Darren Waller. If the Jets cannot figure out how to stop the run, they don't stand a chance against the teams that they're going to have to play in the second half. The Miami Dolphins will kill the Jets. Oh, yeah. They have two guys in Mostert and a Chan who can run all over them. You look at Saquon Barkley, as good as he is, and he still has speed. He's not the same Saquon Barkley he was before he tore his ACL, but he's still explosive. And if the Jets can't stop the run, they're going to get beaten up by the teams that they're going to be playing against in the second half of the season. They have a great right. rotation in the front seven and even in secondary. You must wonder where they're moving forward with it with Zach Wilson because we all know what Aaron Rodgers is and if Aaron Rodgers comes back could be back in December if the Jets are somewhat over 500 they can sneak into the playoffs as a wild card team and maybe make noise with Aaron Rodgers but what happens if they can't what happens if they completely lose out on the playoffs and Aaron Rodgers will be back next year and Aaron Rodgers decides not to come back this year because there's no chance in hell they're going to make the playoffs do you think you can fix Zach Wilson after another year of just disgraceful quarterback play I don't want to hear from Robert Sala he looks better because he doesn't. He only looked good in the fourth quarter. That was it. He didn't even look good in the fourth quarter. He looked good with the last two minutes of the game. What type of quarterback loses yardage every single time there's pressure on him? How many quarterbacks do you know in the NFL that runs backwards, not forward? He still hasn't learned his problems. That tells me that the coaches are not helping him out. He stinks. He's a backup quarterback. He shouldn't even be in the NFL right now. He should be a third string. I would have brought Mike White back. Mike White stinks too. Zach, he's a time bomb ready to explode. Brees Hall did not run the ball very good. 12 carries, 17 yards. 1.42. 1.42. Receiving is where he yeah, went off. That's Allen, just a game plan thing because the Giants blitz a lot. You said that Brees Hall is going to touch the ball at least 20 times to run the ball. He only touched the ball 12 times in this game. Why are you bringing in Michael Carter? Every time he comes into the game, he gets negative yards. He touched the ball twice. He has two yards. He stinks. He has made a tremendous amount of mistakes and he keeps making them and there's no fixing him. The only reason why the Jets are 4-3 and three right now is because of their defense. 